Hi, I'm Sam Pilling from the Sony UK training team. It's my job to help you get better photos from your Sony products. When I was out at weekend, I was taking pictures of random objects, squirrels, trees, plants, and when I shot my first picture of this squirrel, the focus was perfect. But yet, when I shot a second image, you can see the picture is out of focus. Now, this wasn't a case of Sony's fantastic autofocus technology letting me down. It was me that had my settings wrong because previously I'd been shooting macro shots of fungus against a tree. So I thought maybe it's a good time to take a look at Sony's autofocus modes. To do that, I'm going to use a 6400. You'll find these autofocus options in the RX100 Mark V and above, the RX10 Mark IV, the A7 III, the A7R Mark III and Mark IV, the range of A9 cameras and the 6100, the 6400 and the 6600. You'll find some of these features in cameras down the range, but not quite such a comprehensive list of options. Let's have a look at some of those options now. You can find the focus mode options in the second tab of the FN menu. AFS, or single shot autofocus, locks the focus in place once the subject's been acquired. It's useful for still objects, such as landmarks with distracting people walking in the foreground. AFA, or automatic autofocus, will detect whether your subject is moving, and if it is, will switch from single autofocus to continuous autofocus, which in turn will track a moving object, so ideal for sports or wildlife or just your kids playing in the park. Finally, there's two manual focus options. Direct manual focus will focus the camera once when either the shutter button or an AFN button is pressed. It's great for macro because you can really fine tune the point of focus. And then there's a full manual focus option where all of the autofocus systems are turned off and it's completely down to you to focus the lens. Now, in addition to changing our autofocus settings to get better performance out of the camera, we also might want to change the autofocus area. It'll help the camera focus faster and it'll also help the camera track moving objects. They can be found under the same menu, the FN key. Autofocus area is right next door to autofocus mode in the FN menu. The first option is wide area autofocus, and it's really useful because it uses the whole field of view to focus the camera. That means using up to 315 phase autofocus points in compact cameras, or 696 phase autofocus points in interchangeable lens cameras to make sure we capture anything that's moving within our scene. A slight refinement of this is zone area autofocus, where we can move a more defined area around the screen to focus on the subject. This can be done either using the controls on the back of the camera or alternatively a touchscreen if your camera has one. Next, center spot. Really, really quick and simple and easy to use, the camera will focus what's directly in the center of the field of view. It means that with our cameras, you can focus in little as 0.02 seconds on whatever's right in front of you. And then flexible spot, a spot that we can move around the field of view. And these little arrows indicate that we have options here. We can make that flexible spot larger or smaller depending on what our subject is. You can see the size defined here in the title. Again, it's easy to move this flexible spot around the field of view using either a touchscreen or physical controls on the back and really allows you to pinpoint the point of focus that you want to capture from. Next, expand flexible spots, which in addition to looking at your key focus point, will take into consideration any objects in the very near proximity to it. And then finally, tracking expand flexible spots. This is intelligent autofocus. You set what the focus point is, the camera tries to recognize that subject and then track it wherever it goes in the shot. So it's great for sports, it's great for wildlife. Anything that moves, the camera will lock onto and follow it wherever it goes. And again, this is customizable with the size of your autofocus area. We call this technology real-time tracking autofocus and it's incredibly fast and incredibly accurate because it uses colour, pattern, distance and object recognition to work out what it is that you're trying to focus on and track it wherever it goes. We also have real-time eye autofocus which works with both humans for taking really sharp portraits and also animals. In that particular case you go into the menu system, you change your subject from human to animal and then when we shoot a subject such as this lion here which I shot earlier on this year it will track the eye wherever it goes. It means you can focus on composition whereas the camera looks after all of the focusing.
In the case of my squirrels, I've made the mistake of leaving the camera in single autofocus and set to centre point autofocus. If I'd let the camera take control with animal IF and with maybe continuous autofocus or automatic autofocus, you can see here the results are totally different and I get the shot that I'm after. You can find a wide range of Sony cameras supporting these technologies on the Jessup's website and it's important to play with your camera and try these different settings out so you understand what's the best setting for your situation. Anyway, for the time being, thanks for watching.